Declare 8, June 7th, 2011, 8, big thing 8, the invention of the telephone, E.T. Fawn Hall, that was a great line, E.T. Fawn Hall, I called them in long ago. But I'm not calling about the help that I got from our star systems. I'm calling today about the conflict. I don't know why Hollywood demands conflict, but you put me in the story of the conflict. I'd rather just go directly to mind and recognize the power of infinite wealth to create peace on earth. But you cannot count. On man, you must have a backup plan. And a backup plan before the one that destroys us all, as we certainly will be destroyed. But this backup plan is a plan if our gods and dear leaders do not choose to lead. We will take them out. Not by killing, of course. We will take them out the old-fashioned We'll vote them out. All of them. We'll vote all of the leaders. See, I don't need to be captain of anything except the captain of what your mind should tell you. And I had to play the other side. In 2006, I played the black side the white side of the light. I demanded that your dear leaders follow our plan, or we will certainly vote them out. We'll walk with a feet. You think a green revolution is something to worry about? Why, if our revolution spreads to every nation and every planet, we'll throw the bombs out. That's democracy, right? Well, I don't think your injustice system built on the lies. I don't think the future you have with no promise, dear leaders of Earth, will sustain you very long. And maybe I won't be around. Maybe you'll have destroyed me by then. Whether I'm around or not, my message will be clear. My message will not go unnoticed. My message will make captains of the meek, will find the gods among the meek, and we shall build a new world order without any of your deeds. And we shall build a new monetary system and a new enterprise of us without any of your dear leaders. So, it gets down to having a backup plan. And a backup plan. Well, I hope it's a backup plan because if you lost six years of the advance a million times the speed of your innovation. If you lost that space-kind continuum money, dear leaders, after I've reported myself and reported your own future and your own crimes of injustice, because what among you is there injustice within the state of California? You are ruled by my Gestapos. Where is your justice when you have no just captain of mind? Where is your justice system when you don't deliver justice to every human, no matter his race, creed, or color, or the state of his grandiose mind? Where is your justice, America? And where will it be when you crash on your own hypocrisy? Where will your injustice be then? 
You think you can hold on to a coalition led by dear leaders with no better idea? Of course, I may not be the leader I would not wish to be. I just want to retire back off your planet. But my ideas will lead, and those ideas are your ideas. I can't claim anything of my own. I claimed long ago. All of us as derivative works of one god. One god of us. I call him your derivative works. The eminent, eminent domain of us. Do you want to see us in court, dear leaders? In a court of the highest supremes. Because we've bought your law supremes out. We've bought your injustice out. We will examine back to our Bibles and recognize why we are here now. You think you can stop this revolution? This revolution building upon big things? The prophet Muhammad said, Beware the difference between big things and small. These are not small things of which I speak. These are the things that make our future and of those things you have written a tragedy and I wrote you a comedy not without its own tragic dimensions of space and time for us to get to one place at one now but if not now when 